Are you a content creator or digital marketer that is struggling to keep up with the demands of creating high quality content on a regular basis? Don't worry, you are not alone. With the growing importance of AI in content creation, there are now more tools than ever. So let's take a look at the top 10 insane AI tools that I think every content creator or even digital marketer should consider using. And of course, I can only recommend you these 10 tools just because I use it on a daily basis. And no, ChatGPT will not be in this list just because it is way too common and most people already know about it anyway. Tool number one, Opus Pro. Opus Pro is an AI-powered content creation tool that allows you to create engaging content in less time. The idea here is that they will analyze your long-form content, for example, like this video, and cut them up into numerous of short content. So if you check out my YouTube shorts or my Instagram or TikTok, which of course, if you like it, please give it a follow. Most of it are probably be run through Opus Pro or the things that I will say after this, just so that I can have a feel of what content can I create out of the main content that I am creating right now. Not only that, they will also rank your video according to their viral score, which pretty much that they rank it according to they, to what, what they think the likelihood of those clips to go viral. Tool number two, video AI. This is what I mentioned before, where pretty much I also use this on a daily basis. Make short videos from long ones instantly. Quite similar to Opus Pro, but they've given you the timestamp also so that you can see from where and which part of the video that they actually get these clips from. Now, the reason that I like this a lot compared to say Opus Pro, which doesn't do this, is that it saves you a lot of time. Because for the most part, the content that they cut out for you is good, but definitely could be better, especially because they're AI. Sometimes, at least as of right now, when I'm making this video, they haven't been able to like cut in between and maybe like make it a bit more fancy or edit graphics. So it's very limited. So what I'll do is that I'll manually find the clip either literally by listening to which of the clip or finding the timestamp, which in case of video AI, we can do. And then I'll manually chop the clips and adding graphics and more and maybe like cut some bluff up of some like dead air just so that it can become more interesting. So you can see that it does help a lot more if there's a timestamp available, especially if it's a clip that is like more than an hour long, let's say a webinar or maybe an interview video. Tool number three, CapCut. CapCut is an AI-powered video editing tool for mobile devices that allows content creators to easily edit, enhance, and even optimize their videos for usually social media sharing. They have even some advanced features like background removal, image enhancement, color correction, and more. Now, I'll say this as a disclaimer. I haven't used these features as much because I'm used to filmmaking and video editing and content creation process in general. So usually what I'll do is that I'll make sure that during the production process, like right now, is as smooth as I need and pretty much smooth from the get-go according to what I want to do in post-production, aka editing phase. But it's good to know that they have these options available, let's say the green screen one or the break and removal. At least that if I do need to do so, I can do that easily. I think it's also noteworthy to say that with the useful features and easy to use interface, CapCut make it so easy for content creations to create engaging videos on the go, especially if you're someone who is beginner or maybe you're still a mobile creator so you don't use advanced camera or stuff, so you just use your phone and film. So that's gonna be very easy and very simple for you. Tool number four, Captions app. Captions app is an AI powered tool that generates accurate and engaging captions for your videos. By analyzing your video audio, Captions app creates captions that are not only accurate, I'll say 99% of the time, but also visually appealing. So they have like different styles that you can choose, different things that you can do. It's a bit limited, I'll be honest with you. Not as flexible as I would like, but it's definitely a good one. This way, you don't need to manually type in your captions in your video, which I usually did and I used to do a lot actually. That take like an hour or two just to get the subtitles out and then write that in, change some styles, that's like so tedious. So I gotta say, this is a really lifesaver tool. Now I do have to say though, like other softwares like CapCut or even the first like Opus Pro and Video AI, they do have a system or like a processes where they can 
help you generate captions so that's definitely a thing for some reasons i don't like that because i don't know i don't remember because i never use it anymore ever since i just use captions app i just never even really touch on it anymore on there like CapCut or on the opus pro thing so yeah but for some reason i just don't use that anymore the captioning app but but it is definitely good to know that you can do that because i do remember for captions app you do have to pay for it so it's not like free maybe like a free trial and then pay it on a regular basis so if you don't want to spend any additional money on that you have the options too tools number five notion notion is an all-in-one workspace for content teams that helps streamline your workflow and improve collaborations with features like customizable templates task lists team wiki page and even notion ai features because this is an ai video where they can pretty much help you with many things inside your notion workspace now, if you're a long-time subscriber, you probably will already know that I am an advocate for Notion. I literally use Notion on a daily and it pretty much runs my system. By the way, speaking of subscribers, if you're enjoying today's video or even find any value with it, I would really appreciate if you go and click the subscribe button and the like button because it will help me a lot more than you think actually. So definitely thank you if you do. Now, Notion is actually more than just a CMS or content management system. But today, I would just like to highlight their templates and content creation uses. So Notion is perfect for content creator teams or even solo creators like myself right now, looking to stay organized, improve communication, and manage your entire workflow. Tools number six, Airtable. Airtable is a powerful project management tool that helps content creators to stay organized and on track with the content planning and tracking. I like this because it has a very intuitive interface and customizable templates, perfect for your teams or even yourself, just like Notion, if you want to simplify your project management and content planning processes. Like I mentioned, it is quite similar to Notion, but I do still add it here because I personally like this better if my client doesn't understand or maybe doesn't want to involve themselves to use Notion pretty much. Because I have to admit, Notion can be quite complex and complicated to start. So I do remember even like three to four years ago when I began using Notion, I almost take the first month or two not even using it, just toying on it because it is a bit complex tools. But when you get a hang of it, it's actually pretty simple. But again, that's definitely depending on what you want to do. If you just get a template and follow it, it should be simpler and you should have a shorter learning curve than I do. But the way that you think about Airtable is that it's almost like an improve upon Google spreadsheet or an Excel spreadsheet that just focuses on the spreadsheet database with multiple viewing options like calendar, Kanban, Gantt chart, and more. So this is definitely good for project management too, but usually the first interface is the spreadsheet itself. So I will definitely encourage you to test both of them, both Notion and Airtable, and stick with the one that is easier for you or even make the most sense for you depending on what you want to do. Tool number seven, Copy AI. Copy AI is an AI-powered tool that helps content creators to generate high-quality, engaging written content. By analyzing your input text and they have like a machine learning algorithms and they can even like show you prompts and a lot of like different ideas that is fun to play with to be honest. Copy AI creates content that is not only accurate, at least I hope they are, but usually you do still of course, I have to verify some stuff, but also engaging and optimized for social sharing. Tools number eight, Fista Social. Fista Social is a social media management tool, usually mainly about like publishing and scheduling. That is honestly the way that you can think of it is similar to like later.com or even Hootsuite. But the way that I use it is mainly for scheduling, although they have like a little bit of reporting, but I usually don't really rely on that. Now I gotta say though, Fista Social is probably one of the least featured software. Now, why even I recommending you this and why do I use this myself is because Visa Social is one of the most straightforward platform in my opinion and also one of the more affordable one compared to like later.com or even Hootsuite which is more pricier. So this one's really depending on your size and maybe the size of your business or the size of your operations. If you're someone who's like already a big team, it maybe makes sense to use like let's say Hootsuite or later.com which has more features and even some AI features which Vista Social doesn't have. But if you are a solo creator who doesn't want to spend a lot of money on software and apps but also don't want to set your alarm to 5 p.m. every day just because you have to remember to publish and then always end up forgetting to publish even though you have set your alarm, relatable, Vista Social is a very powerful tool that you definitely should give a shot. Tools number nine, Google Calendar. Okay, yet another non-AI tools, I know. 
But the reason that I even mentioned Google Calendar in this video as well is that how many of you have been guilty of wanting to, let's say, publish a content or create a content, but for some reasons, you just always put it off or always forget about it and you end up keep on pushing it off. Let's be honest, I think we all have done that, including myself. And that is why Google Calendar, in my opinion, at least for myself, is a very powerful tool. Because just in case you're living under the rock, you probably know that Google Calendar helps you with task management, scheduling, and pretty much managing your entire week. And fun fact, Google Calendar is also a tool that I use every single day and it's pretty much run my life. Like literally, usually I have my one week ahead plan so I know what I'll do say this is Wednesday, so next Tuesday even, or Sunday, because usually I check it every Sunday and I'll plan it for the week, up to two months ahead. So sometimes if I have a big project, I'll do that. So if you're someone who's constantly missing creating your content or missing when you want to brainstorm your content even for the first step, make sure that you do use some sort of calendar like Google Calendar or even Apple Calendar, whichever works for you. Put a task, schedule it when you want to do it and make sure that you do open it every single day because if not, then the day will just pass and you will not even aware that you have that to do. So it's definitely a good habit to build of checking it every single day. And I would wager that if you at least try to do that, you would most likely adhere to your calendar and to your deadline more often than not. And by the way, on a side note, if you're curious on how do I manage my calendar that I can schedule that far and also how do I use Notion to pretty much manage my entire life, make sure that you do let me know and I maybe can create that video for you if you are interested in that. Tool number 10, Boost App Social. It is a hashtag generative tool that can help you find relatable and relevant hashtag. Now wait, before you even come to me and say that hashtags are irrelevant anymore, have you even tried it? Because don't knock it if you haven't tried. Because the idea of hashtag here is not to get you to a million views, let's say directly on a one day or from a one giant hashtag. If you're especially a small creator or a small business, if you're even ranked on a hashtag that has like 10k posts, means that quite a lot of people visiting and using that hashtag already. And it could get you quite a few hundred to a few thousand views, which is very significant for our follower size that is quite small. Now, Boost App Socials, I think just for iPhone though, so if you're an Android user, I'm not sure if you have it, you might have to check it out. But also, I'm sure that there's other tools that is pretty much doing the same thing on that end. So again, I hope you do find value in these 10 tools that I use almost on a daily basis or some even on a daily or even multiple times a day basis. Let me know in the comment below if there's any tools that you are currently using or you used before that you find quite also helpful because I do want to see what are other tools outside and we also of course want to learn from each other. So leave it down in the comment section down below. I'll check it out. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next week.